So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing the fifth part for the scrolling platformer. So today we'll be adding the traps and danger and uh, we might possibly get onto wall jumping. So before I uh, begin, I would like to scroll through the code just in case you guys missed anything. So this is what we had from the last video. So yeah, um, and then we have the platforms. And yeah, so let's get on to the code. So first, for the player, let's add a new custom block. Maybe call it Trap Guy. Click OK. Trap die. Um, so if so this is just to activate, if the player touches a trap, then it'll die. So if touching, so I have my traps already right here, my danger. So what you want to do basically is to duplicate your platforms. Uh -huh. And then you uh, put whatever danger, like a lava or something. So I, in this case, I can like duplicate these spikes. So what you want to do is go to vector, duplicate whatever you want, go into your uh, platforms too, the one I just duplicated, and then you can uh, drag it to where you want it, and then delete every, delete all the land. So now you don't have the danger. Keep that only the danger, and. For the ones that, for the levels that don't have any danger, you delete everything on the whole level. For the levels that don't have any danger, you delete everything. Otherwise, you will get like lava or something. You duplicate your platforms, put it wherever you want the lava, and then you can um, delete everything around it. So I'm going to demonstrate one more time. So like that. Control C. I'm gonna go to here, duplicate it. So it's already scaled for me. I just put it right there. And then I delete everything else. Just keeping the spikes. So now you guys know how to do the oops, I actually did this in the platforms. Sorry, you're supposed to do this in the um you're actually supposed to do this in the uh, platforms too, like I said right here. So dupe, you want to duplicate it. Oops. So let me get that again. So duplicate it into here. Then delete everything around it. There you go. So now you guys know how to do that. Let's move on. So for the danger, uh, we'll need pretty much same code for the platforms. So for the player, uh, I mean for the danger, remember to delete your delete every uh, everything for the levels that don't have any danger. And to just get all the code, just drag and drop your code into the danger sprite, like that. Mm. We'll have to add a little bit more code. So now that I have all the code in, let me just drag this last bit of code. Okay, let me, there you go. So let me just separate it. Okay, so uh, the no amount of corresponding times you um, do, uh, make clones for the platform, you have to do it for the dangers as well. So let's continue for the defining this trap die custom block. If touching danger, then we want to set the exit to dead to let the um, this custom block know that the player is dead right here. So if exit is equal to dead, then activate the player die. So set the exit to dead. And then next, 
you want to add the trap die piston block. You want to activate it right here. So now when you play it, we, oh yeah, I forgot. We have to add some more code for the platform. Like I said, we have to, um, so, so now, um, let's play it. So the spikes are showing. Right now we have not done the wall jumping yet. So now when you touch the spikes, you can actually die. And I added an extra bit of level right here. So you can just duplicate that right there and duplicate another one. So I have an extra bit of level right here. I added that. So I figured out my bug. I added something different. So I forgot to do make another clone for this, for the danger. So it wouldn't show up the spikes. So make sure to make the same amount of clones as your platforms. So now you can get killed by the spikes and you can also die from falling. Okay, so um, I will scroll around one more time just to show you guys the code. <clears throat> so just off this. And platforms, danger. So remember to, you should duplicate this platform and then add the danger. You have to make it the same corresponding size or sometimes it will not show. Like what happened to me. So now maybe we can work on the uh, wall jumping now. So Let's get, take this out, get an if else statement, get two actually, you need two, put it under this one, and get another if else statement, put it right here, and now you want to get if the, actually I can just duplicate this, if the up arrow or the key W is pressed, then also, if the SX is great is greater than zero, then we can set the speed X to speed X negative 16. Else we set it to 16. So what this does is um, if uh, wall jumping, so if the player is on the left, then it will um, push it to the right by 16 so it'll make an, another extra jump so you can wall jump and same for the right if it's a wall on the right side and you jump it'll push it to the left so you can make that one extra jump to make the wall jump and we want to set the in air right here set the in air to zero and then next finally you want to go to here set the speed x to zero Add the repeat until loop under here, right here. Now you have all the wall jumping mechanics and now you can die from spikes. So, so now you can, as you can see, you can wall jump on the boxes perfectly fine. You can die from the spikes. You can die from fall damage. Um, and I will also, yeah, now, now that you can get past this part, and I also added an extra bit of level, like I said. So remember to just duplicate it for this one, like that, and do it for the same for the danger. And right now, there's no exit yet. And I'm gonna like make a line just to show you how the wall jumping is working. Just to show you guys. Make it red, maybe make it like 10. Actually, black might be fine as well. Just do this. Hold down shift. So, as you can see, now you can wall jump. 
So, yeah, that pretty much concludes our video for today. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're new to our channel. And I'll see you guys in part six of our scrolling platformer.